Hello guys, Yippie Kaye for you here on Forza 5. So this episode's basically going to be a review of Forza 5, and you're probably wondering where the intro and outro go since I'm doing Forza 5 now. Well, the way I record this is now on my Xbox itself, so I do not have to go through multiple systems. It's just easier, and I determined that we don't need about a minute and a half or however long it is with, um just extra footage of my logo and stuff so who cares anymore so Neil say where this here is going to be a review of the game and I'm right now driving in the car in my second video of Forza 5 that I called my pizza car just because the name of the car is ridiculously long and I didn't feel like talking about it so the, this game is great especially if you like Gran Turismo that I, pretty sure I said that once as well but the graphics in it are fairly good the cars are very accurate you'll see me later in this car change the view of my put of the driving and stuff and I actually just now when I was doing this caught myself I'm like oh my gosh it's a right-hand drive it's because in the US we have left-hand drives and this car was manufactured in Japan that's like most Toyotas they're not all manufactured in Japan but this one was sold in Japan a lot of times for racing and I just caught that it was a right-hand drive so I was like hmm never knew that but Neil say this game is great all the tracks are actual tracks that I'm aware of all the cars are actual cars with phenomenal detail like I rolled a car a few times and I just you could see the bottom and you know you might see in some video games they'll have like the tailpipe area and the axles and that's about it and it'll be just flat everywhere else well they actually went through and gave a full design on the bottom so as you see I'm just kinda of playing around with some camera angles and I'll do a bit more here in a few minutes yep never mind not in a few minutes right now I I'm talking after I played the game just because I can't talk and play at the game at once or else I wreck and crash and no, my, not a whole lot of fun. So basically this game, if you have played Gran Turismo and got an Xbox One though and you're like, dang I really won that game, Gran Turismo, well I recommend you getting this game. It's very similar, it's basically the Microsoft version instead of the PlayStation version. While also at the same time, I do have a need for Speed Rivals, which gives this game two different atmospheres. This game is more in-track racing, and Need for Speed Rivals is open road. So, depends how you like to play. If you like just being able to do whatever, jumping off cliffs with your car and whatnot, then Need for Speed Rivals is the thing you should choose. But if you're somebody who likes track racing, this is the game for you and if you go online you can also do track races there and be online with other people but need for speed you're online no matter what unless you're disconnected to the Wi-Fi and stuff it took me a little while to figure out how to drift in this game it is really different from need for speed and um, if in some cases I catch myself trying to do the need for speed drift and I'm like oh crap and it doesn't work and then I have to remember what Grand Theft Auto drifting is as well, so you gotta know your different kind of drift. So if you play a lot of racing games, I recommend you kind of know how to drift in each game because it can save you a lot of time on these corners and actually in this game you can get points for drifting as long as you don't hit anything or go off the road. So. I'm just going to kind of keep doing these kind of videos guys for you and just show you some cool gameplay whether it be Forza or whether it be Battlefield 4 or Call of Duty Ghost any of the games I have for the Xbox One and if I can I might try and do uh, some Xbox One and since I had so far of a lead we just finished in reverse. I didn't know if there was an achievement for it. Some games do. But remember, guys, to like and subscribe if you're on YouTube. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.